In this video, I'm gonna show you an automated system that can actually multiply your code outreach using Trigify, Clay, and OpenAI operator. How it works from my thinking process, my outdated belief, the new way of actually doing things, and how I'm actually automating everything so that my sales team and I can actually get dozens of open conversation every single day. Before getting into the build, I just want to show you the difference between all the way of doing things, which is basically how 90% of teams are doing today and the new way. The new way leveraging new technology, using AI, using automation so that you can actually generate more revenue per sale person. The old way basically is creating new lists every time from scratch because we are talking about outbound. You create a list of people, you get the information, you get the email, you write message every time. You have to set up a new infrastructure every time because you can set up the domains, you can set up the addresses, but then you can burn those domains. You can burn those addresses and you have to set up new ones every time you only contact people that are super super cold and if you haven't noticed in 2025 outbound is getting tougher and reply rates are going down down and down you have to check deliverability and book status every single time which is time consuming you have to get into smart lead you have to get that uh, all the email are warming up all the emails are not getting blocked all the emails are delivering messages into the primary inbox and usually it involves a lot of people even if you are automatic all the email and uh, a lot of manual work which of course uh, is distracting you from actually getting your goals or you're paying a lot of people to do this and you have very very bad margins and this approach usually involves like outdated software and data tools such as Apollo such as Zeminfo the new way actually is getting signals from the market. We are not talking about like 100% cold people where reply rates are very low. You only filter people in ICP with very high level of filters, especially when you're being at least with Apollo. If you double check manually, your list is super broken. You need a tool such as Clay, such as the other that I will show you in a moment, that can actually double check every single line with AI if the contact that you're prospecting is really your ICP and most of the time the list is your problem even if you haven't noticed. Automatically monitor addresses and inboxes, especially in 2025 you have to set up new inboxes, new addresses and you have to be fast. So I will show you a way with OpenAI operator to put everything on autopilot so you can focus on what method. I will show you a totally new suit of tools and API to actually get on autopilot to open conversations. So your job and your sales team job is not anymore actually opening conversation is managing conversation. So let's go over how to build this and how to make it like hyper efficient, putting together some super advanced AI tools that can actually open conversations for you. If you think about this, uh, our automated outreach mechanism, which I usually call social signal playbook, which is part of the go-to-market playbooks that I usually implement in the fastest growing companies in the world, can be divided into four major points which are getting social signals then the revenue operation part where basically we separate like fake signals or signals from people that are not ICP and real signals then we have like an automated messaging part that can be automated can be one by one and when something happened here so the prospect actually reply to automate the conversation we move the conversation to sales people you see the difference here the old way is like having sales salespeople or SDRs actually opening the conversations. In particular, what I mean is this, I'm using a software which is called Trinify.io, which is a pretty interesting software because it can actually monitor your uh, social engagement, competitor social engagement, creator social engagement. Let's say that you are selling software, product or service that is very elevated on LinkedIn. Let's say to Google Ads. Google Ads, there's a lot of people talking about SEO or Google Ads on LinkedIn, right? And I track here are like some of them talking about for example Google. These guys combined are getting more than a thousand engagers per day. For engagers I mean people that like, comment, share, but if you think about it what are the people that are engaging with these guys? If this guy is talking about SEO and you have a thousand engagers on his posts, the people actually 
engaging are or fun or actually getting more information they want to get educated into seo into google ads or whatever so they are possible buyers or followers but here we are getting people active on linkedin that want to get educated on seo because they want to implement it they want something out of seo otherwise they are not following these people with regify we can actually map uh, these uh, creators we can get at scale uh, all uh, the engagers and uh, we can move the engagement into clay so clay now is analyzing if the people engaging with these guys are icp yes or icp no for icp we can get at scale the linkedin profile of the engagers and can understand is the job title the job title of a executive or a manager of a founder does the company has more than x millions of revenue from the company URL? is the company actually based in us yes you can put like your own filters and you can really go really really granular on this and if this is acp from your linkedin profile or from cold email you can automate all your messages and reach out to these people so you're not reaching out to total strangers you're not reaching out to people that are 100 cold but you're reaching out to people that are focusing on google ads so in their mind right now they have google ads they have seo very likely especially if you filter them in the correct way they are probably buyers getting more information to actually buy or at least improve this kind of service and when a conversation is opened the sales people can actually manage the conversation for example from hey rich maybe you send lead magnet saying hey can i share with you the case study of x company that was in this situation and now is in this situation and we are sending this to one of the engager of these guys that is very icp and when the prospect actually replied then the sys people can actually manage the conversation so you see now the difference at least at an eye level and in a moment guys i will show you this uh, how it works into practice we'll go really into the details of triggify and clay how to set up this for yourself or for your own clients by the way guys if you want to copy and paste my social selling playbooks copy and paste the templates and all the automation of uh, open ai operations Operator, just check the link in the description i prepared for you a free document with all of these resources okay guys so let's go ahead and let's check from scratch how to implement this flow so the first part would be social signals and uh, triggerify triggerify you can just go on uh, the website and you have to buy the lower tier plan when you are into triggerify as you can see basically if you go into engagement you can actually start monitoring different linkedin profiles as you can see in this case i put my profile just for example and retention adam which is a very popular linkedin profile getting a lot a lot of attention and his engagers are very likely my icp so as you can see i'm getting like a lot of uh, linkedin profiles here basically are the people that are engaging with my posts so i want to select all of these both the one from me and both the one from all the influencers you can uh, with this plus symbol add all your competitors you can add influencers like i showed you before for example neil patel eric Siu, etc etc and you can start spying on their engagers and move all the engagers into clay which is step two how to connect Trigify to Clay so we can move all the engagers into Clay. It's enough to go into integrations. So first of all, you already have the, like the Clay webhook or you can just create a webhook. Then it's enough to go into clay.com and you can create a webhook table, new workbook. Into the workbook, you see you have here on the left all the possible tables that uh, you can add. You need a webhook table. So you click on more resources. You can write a webhook, monitor webhook. You copy this code which is the webhook code you go back to triggerify and if you click on webhook you can actually paste the webhook code so on autopilot you will get all the engagers from triggerify directly into clay i already implemented this for a lot a lot of different clients and i want just to show you how it looks like as you can see based on the day and the time of the day you're basically getting all the profiles so these are all the profiles all the engagers that uh, triggerify catched moved into clay then where you're into clay here is step two and in step two you actually have to understand what is icp and what is not in this very particular case my icp are people that are not agency owners because they can be my competitor and they are working in a company that is getting more than twenty thousand website visitors because i'm really interested in working with them because i'm selling something that makes sense only if they have 
20,000 website visitors. How can I do this? Trigify is sending me here on the left all the profiles. As you can see first, I created a, a Playagent arrangement which is an AI agent. So I can interrogate the AI saying, is a job company website a lead generation agency, outbound agency, or a B2B growth agency? Agency and not tool or app. If so, return yes. I put the filters, but if I get rid of the filter, as you can see, some are yes, some are no. So if it is yes, it will move on the right, which is job title filter. Based on job title, how confident you are it's a senior founder position in marketing, sales, or revenue? return a number from zero to 10. As you can see, it's not just a standard filter, like the sales navigator filter. I'm always using or an enrichment or an AI agent and actually having a confidence level because I only want to automate communications or do communication in general to people that are extremely my ICP. This is why I can open a lot of conversations. This is why I can actually generate more revenue per sales people. After the confidence level, what I want next is the website traffic because I only work for many services only to companies that get at least 20,000 unique website visitors per month. And how can I get this with Clay? Easy, I can use uh, an, one of the enrichment, which is called SEMrush. We can use the API. And in particular, as you can see, I put like the company website as an input. The origin of the website traffic is US, display months, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm getting here on the right, the total visits, total users. And finally, what I did was creating a column called ICP where I put all the conditions like this is my ICP only if it's getting at least 20,000 website visitors, confidence level of the job title is greater than six or seven, is an agency no, etc. etc. As you can see, I did this in this way. If total users greater than 30,000, then return true. And position confidence level is greater than seven, and job company website is no, then return. Sure. Generate formula. And as you can see on autopilot is getting only the one that are fit. As you can see, most of the times they are not a lot, but we don't need like crazy amount of leads if they are hyper targeted, warm, and not cold and interested in what you're actually selling or at least interested in getting more education on it. Then if it is true, the next will be generating the message and connecting first smart lead or hey rich hey rich you automate the linkedin connections messages etc smart lead you can automate email you can actually directly connect to your own google address because it's not really cold outreach it's warm outreach so you can even experiment with your own personal domain but pay a lot of attention to it the last thing that i wanted to share is how i'm putting all the infrastructure set up on autopilot with the open ai operator because i figure out that setting up new addresses my new domains warming up uh, all the addresses, uh, putting the decay I am into the domains is very, very daunting. We are here in the process. This is a very technical part, but it's really crucial to keep uh, deliverability high, but it's really manual. It really takes a lot of your time. So what you can do is to leverage this new OpenAI operator, which is a crazy new revolution in my opinion, because it's like GPT, but can actually take control of your browser and actually do all the operations for you. As you can see I created a whole document to actually automate all the cold email operations such as setting up the KIM, such as uh, put on the warm up for domain analysis, buy new domain addresses, literally. Now my process is so good that I just click a button and OpenAI operator will actually buy new addresses for me, both Google, Outlook and SMTP. Pause all the campaigns, delete all the campaigns and many many more other actions. I just want to give you an idea of what does it look like because it's extremely powerful and I was really able to save a lot of my time. For example, let's start from uh, warm up on. Warm up on is something that really happens like every day because you are into smart lead, you set up a lot of domains, but the problem is you see sometimes the warm up goes off because maybe you're getting some bounce, maybe you're getting some problems and it's really hard in your deliverability to keep everything off. But at the same time, you really can't spend so much time in going one by one and setting them up because uh, you can totally have like a thousand different addresses, right? So how can you do this? Jump into the operator and you can just copy and paste my script that you find in the description, by the way. As you can see, I created a open script that says something like, I give you permission to access my lead with my credentials and all the stuff to actually moving the warm-up on. 
As you can see, it really works. And I really put the process on autopilot. So every day we'll do exactly this. As you can see, I'm not touching my computer. It's working on 100% autopilot. Going into smart lead now without doing anything it is putting like my email address and my password. Now it's logging in. This is actually my account, funny enough. It goes on email accounts. As you can see, put the filter for a warm up status off. So it's targeting only the ones that are off. In this case, inactive because we can put them on applying the filter as you can see i have some addresses that are not active in terms of warm up as you can see it enable the warm ups and it move to the next address doing this one twice three times till you get all the email addresses warmed up and you absolutely do nothing so now we have an 100 automated cold email outreach process but actually setting up the process is just the beginning the real question is how you master clay because every time you have to change a little bit the table and adapt it to your own business or to your own clients this is why i created this video here that will show you how i'm doing all my marketing and sales using clay.com you will discover how to build targeted lists how to use ai agents how to craft automatic automatically super high quality messages all of this using AI and automation so that you can save time and move faster I'll see you over there